Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Samson Lee coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Uh, welcome, everybody, from around the world. You know, I was uh, just checking the list today. We have people from all over the world, USA, Canada, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, all over. So great to have all of you here today. And all of you are here tonight to learn something. Tonight, we have a very, very special speaker. I met her in 2006 uh, through uh, an opportunity, and I saw her create something amazing, a global business around the world. And today, uh, her track record, it speaks for itself. She's helped companies create millions of dollars, billions of dollars in sales all over the world. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up amazing, amazing leader, uh, one of the very unique ones. I would like to call her like the Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant of uh, of our industry. Uh, my dear friend, Mrs. Kim Hui. Hello, Kim. Good evening. Good evening, Samson. Good evening, everyone. Uh, all our audiences from around the world, welcome. And uh, thank you for plugging in and thank you, Samson, for the introduction. Um, so I'm really excited tonight uh, to be on the call with you because, uh, how should I say, I'm engaging back to work. So uh, I'm really excited about that. And today, what I'm going to talk tonight, what I'm going to talk about is perhaps uh, about an industry that perhaps is one of the most misunderstood industry in the world. Uh, and yet, when it's with the right kind of people, uh, with the right platform, uh, it could be a beautiful platform. It could be a beautiful industry. So the topic of tonight uh, is called Mastering the Basics. Um, you know, the reason for this call actually is because we are, we're getting ready to launch uh, this new project. Uh, I call it a legacy project. This is perhaps my legacy work, uh, along with many, many legends uh, from this industry. And so... Uh, this is, I take it very personal because this is like a project of me and the universe. And so, uh, um, and having said that, I know that uh, this project, the last couple of weeks have attracted people from all walks of life. And uh, we have legends, we have pros, and we also have people uh, that are very new to the space. And so uh, I was asked, there's many people that asked me to do a, a private session or private talk uh, to kind of coach them and explain to them about a little about this industry. But rather than doing a private talk, I decided, you know what, why don't we just host a class and just host a talk and kind of share with you my experience and my encounter uh, in this industry of almost 30 years. Uh, I think sometime, I think actually it passed 30 years, uh, August or something is 30 years. But anyway, um, so where do I begin, right? <laughs> uh, so this truly is really one of the most misunderstood industry in the world. So allow me to kind of share with you um, my take of this industry and what it has done for me and what are the key components of this industry? Because it is all about perception. You know, a perception dictates our action, what we will or will not do. And so I haven't said that earlier, that this is the most misunderstood industry, uh, one of the most misunderstood industry in the world. And so allow me to kind of share with you what it is from my perspective and from my experience and, uh, and how one can engage in this, because we have many entrepreneurs. Uh, professionals that want to engage in this platform, but don't quite know how to engage or, or how to approach. And so kind of allow me to share with you some of the key components. Oh, by the way, um, those of you that do not know me, uh, I, uh, I often tell people in the past uh, that I am a housewife. Uh, I am married to a physician. He's a medical doctor here in Los Angeles. Um, so uh, I'm a, I was a housewife. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I think all of us at some point in our life, we're, we have that special different uh, 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 species in, in us. And so um, anyway, coming back to this, I, I've been very blessed in this platform that um, I was able to uh, achieve some success in this industry. Um, and how I got involved in this industry was about 30 years ago uh, when I was at the height of my corporate career, uh, I was downsized. 
I was laid off and I didn't know what was going to do. I have a bunch of credit card debts at that time. Uh, I had a house and I had a car and a Mercedes. I didn't know how I was going to make those car payments. Uh, credit card companies were calling and says, Miss Hui, uh, when can we expect a check? I said, you can expect it any time. When it will arrive, I do not know. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I began this industry. And so uh, uh, it has been an incredible uh, ride. Uh, truly, uh, you know, not only from a financial perspective, but from a personal growth uh, of becoming who I am here today. And so, um, so let me kind of explain about my take on this industry of what we have. Obviously, over the years, because of technology, this industry has evolved to a whole different level. Okay, so there's three components to this industry. Okay, the three components are number one people, people like you and I, entrepreneurs, consumers, okay? So people that want to change. So people that wanted to achieve something, they're looking for a vehicle for change, okay? So people is one of the key components of this entire industry, okay? And number two, very important, our products, you know, product that are consumable, uh, product that are, that are wellness based in 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 this new project, our products are wellness based. I think especially more than ever in the time that we're living today, everybody want to be healthy. Uh, we want to boost up our immune system. We want to uh, just live a more meaningful life, uh, uh, not just living, but really have the vibrancy and the radiance of really enjoying life. So, uh, product is very important. Product, good having good product that determine the sustainability, the longevity of the company, because you got to have good products for people to enjoy and that are impactful for people to stay on, on, on this. And the third, the third very important component to this industry is a platform. So what's a platform? A platform is a provider. A provider is someone that, that are able to uh, put this whole thing together with operational, administrative, uh, logistics that provide the product, that fulfill the product. So for people like you and I, entrepreneurs that can just, instead of us spending our own money, uh, forming a company, uh, 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 looking for manufacturing, looking for fulfillment uh, 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 logistics, and in and, and, and having accountant and all that stuff, we have a platform that are able to put all that together, allowing entrepreneurs like you and I to participate, okay? So having said that, these three components are very important. Now, so what are we here to do? So knowing that people, three things, three, okay? Three, okay? One, people. Two, product. Three, platform. In order for all this to work, all three has to work synergistically. It has to be in place, okay? So now, next thing is, what are we here to do? A lot of times, there, there's really very misunderstood. A lot of people looking at this industry as they're coming in to sell product. And I, I remember in the old, old days, you know, people had to be garage qualified. They had to lower a whole bunch of product, just like traditional business. You know, a lot of people have to like stock a lot of inventory and then they go sell product. To me, what this is, it is, and especially with today is environment where everything being online, you know, the I'll buy people's buying habit and shopping habit has changed. And so what it is, is that it is what we're here to do is to build a distribution channel. What do I mean by that? It's just like, just like, for example, the big conglomerates like Costco, like Amazon, uh, like Sam's Club. You know, so these are the, the or maybe some of the, the, the people in different markets, you know who your big conglomerates are, that warehousing and do the product fulfillment where can, people will go online and people will, will uh, place orders, right? So what we do is we build a distribution network where the provider, the platform will help us fulfill that. Now, I want you to go a step further with the distribution network. What we are here to do is through our connection, through our friends and family, and especially today through social media, your friends are all connected throughout the world, right? So what we do is that through our connection, we're able to use this platform while people go online 
they buy some products, they purchase a product, that we have the opportunity to build a sustainable business, not only locally, but globally. Because in this new project, our first phase, our phase one, we're, we're targeting 15 markets around the world. Okay, so that's phase one. And so having said that, now we have friends from all over. Okay, we build a network. But what, what is so disruptive to this industry is now because of social media, because of the internet, we now are able to connect friends in different parts of the world. And because of that, we have the opportunity not only to, to generate income from referrals at the same time, because the way that this system, this platform, how it works is that every single person in this company can only build two teams. Therefore, you have the opportunity to leverage someone else's network. And that's very key to understand the power of leverage. Most people in today's environment are working on what's called linear income. You know, I don't care what kind of business you own. Uh, when you have a business, you, you, or when you work a job, it's linear. You trade time for money. When you go to work, you get a paycheck. Or when you have a business, you have a little bit of leverage, uh, but it's still tied to perhaps your geographic location. Okay. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a realtor, you're, you're a builder, or you are someone that owns a restaurant. It's limited because you, you, it's all based on your effort and your employees' efforts. Whereby here, you have the opportunity to not only leverage friends and family and people that you know and colleagues, and by you offering them an opportunity, when they expand their businesses, they share the opportunity with other people, you also have the opportunity to leverage their network. And that's how wealth are built. And so, and it is very misunderstood because a lot of people, so I'm, I'm going to go into in a little bit about when we talk about the action, how we engage. And so I just want to set the framework down first, understanding what it is. You know, it's, you know, can people sell product? Absolutely. You know, you can, there's multiple ways that you can make money in, in this new platform. Um, but now when you sell product, obviously some people are happy with a couple of thousand a month. There's no income guarantee, but I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So people that want to sell product, the opportunity is here. But for those of you that not only to share the product with other people, but to build a business platform, to share the opportunity with other people, there's an opportunity here right, right now for you to build wealth. And so that's why, that's why a lot of people are drawn to this. And, uh, and uh, so now, who's our target market? This is very important. Now, the product, obviously, is targeting wellness. And so, you know, from a product standpoint, you know who is interested in wellness, who want to be healthier, who wants to, you know, whatever. That's on the product standpoint. But as far as the market potential, what is our target market? The way I look at it, our target markets are anybody who wants change, anyone that want to improve their financial situation. Uh, perhaps at this time that we're living in right now, especially the narrative that we were subject to the last couple of years, you know, maybe people want more connection. Maybe people wanted to just, just connect with one another, you know, so you, you have no, and people want, maybe some people want to be uplifted. Some people want to get inspired. Whatever that may be. So that would be our target market. And so my question to you is, who do you know in the environment, in the space that we're living in right now that are looking for a change? They are tired of the narrative. They are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so you, I mean, now, obviously you would say, well, it should be everyone. Yeah, it should be everyone. But why is it that not, not everyone will see it? And I could tell you, based on 30 years of being in this industry, and I would say why people wouldn't even, some people wouldn't even listen to it. Some people would pluck their ear when you begin to share with them. I, I think there's some major, several major factors why people wouldn't see it. One, it could be conditioning. It could be their past experiences of what they thought they had encountered. Uh, some people may be quote unquote burned out uh, or some people could be prejudiced that those prejudice 
uh, came from maybe, like I said earlier, their experiences or the stories that they hear from someone and someone, someone. But I'm telling you, when you when you in, when you are working with the right kind of people with the right platform, this is the most beautiful industry you could ever be involved with. Because in order for you to become successful, you have to help other people to become successful. If other people are not successful, you you can't make money. You can't be successful. So this is a very basic fundamental principle that's embedded in this platform. So I want to get it out there so people truly understand the logic behind this. Now, you know, I, I, I want to say this. I didn't come to a point just, just, wow, here I am sharing this. It came from 30 years of in the trenches, traveling to over 50 countries, meeting hundreds of thousands of people over the years to come to a point in my life. I want to share this. That's why I said earlier, this is, this is a legacy project, along with a few of my friends, and now is drawing people from all over. Uh, uh, you know, some of the industry legend, I'm like, where'd you guys come from? How come I don't know you? You know, it's, it's really amazing. I heard of some of the big names, uh, but now I get to meet them uh, is absolutely phenomenal. So why people, people say no is perhaps, you know, it's what I called people usually wear those tinted lens. They wear a pair of glasses and it's got a, tin, a tinted shade on it. And, and how those shades were formed is because of hearsay or past bad experiences or whatever that might be. And here's what I will share with you. If you want to change, if you want it to change, you want it to be better, you want something more in life, I would say put down that shade, put down whatever you thought you knew. Put it down for a second. Take it in. Because when we're driving forward, we can't keep looking at the rear wheel mirror. We got to look, look through the windshield and go forward. Okay, so just want to share with you. So if something is so good, why people don't, don't see it? And it could also be fear. Fear of what? Fear of the unknown, perhaps. Uh, also, perhaps fear of success. You know, what, what, what exactly does that mean? Uh, well, you can Google it. And, and there's many talks about fear of success. Okay, so, um, so having said that, so let's talk about now knowing what it is. Let's talk about the approach. How do we go about now? You you now you think you found something good. Something has you you the messaging so far resonates with you. The messaging that we have right now resonates with you. The people that share the opportunity with you, their story, their message resonates with you. So how do you go about to approach this? Before we do that, I wanted to set to share with you some golden rules that I've learned about sharing, okay? Once you understand that and you accept that and you embrace that, it makes this journey a lot more fun, a lot more easier, okay? Now, so some of the golden rules are number one. Number one, you don't need the entire world to join you. Not everyone that you talk to, that you share will say yes. That's a fact. Some people will be very nice, say, no, thank you. Some people will be a little, maybe sharing their not too pleasant experience. Uh, some people will be very rude, uh, but it doesn't matter what it is. Just understand this. You are out there looking for a few good ones. You don't need a whole world. When you find, if you find someone like a Samson Lee or Lance Smith or Mike McCormick, you just watch out uh, with this, uh, uh, the way that we can generate, build your, your, your wealth. Uh, you find one good one, you could looking pretty, pretty handsome or pretty pretty. Okay. So um, understand the golden rules. Not everyone will join you and not in the, not, not everyone will join you and not everyone who join you will work the business. There's a fact. Do not, do not take it personal. All we are looking for is a few good entrepreneurs. And so by that, I want to give you some example. For example, if you are a car salesman, how many test drives that you have to give? How many people you have to take them on a test drive before you sell the car? 
Will everyone you're taking a spin will buy a car from you? Might not be, right? Or let's just say that if you were selling a beautiful piece of jewelry, how many people would touch that piece of jewelry before you find a buyer? Realtor, if you are a realtor, how many house showings you have to show the home before you got, how many buyers do you really need for that home? How many buyers do they, do you need? Let's say you're selling a, I don't know, a beautiful piece of jewelry. This is a beautiful piece of jewelry. How many buyers do you need to buy that jewelry? One. How many people do you need to buy that one vehicle, that car that you're selling? That one. Home. One. Because you only got one home. Okay. So, so, so understanding what you're looking for. You only need a few good ones. So don't get too caught up and go, oh my God, they said no to me. Okay, so now the other golden rule is what I call it four SW and one N. What does it stand for? Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Next. Okay. Now we'll say it nicely, you know, like um, uh, today I got uh, several texts actually. And they go, well, Kim, what, what do I say when they're being negative? Or what do I say when they're this? And they're saying that, you know, well, only a few people on top makes money and da 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 da. Look, at this point in the game, I'm, I'm like, next. Thank you. Next. <laughs> you know, when, when this is really very misunderstood, only a few people at the top make money. I would say, dude, or do that. Do you know how hard we worked the last couple of months? None of us made a dime yet. We have put forth the effort, plowing, building the foundation, digging deep to, to the bedrock to do this. Yes, people that, 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 it's all timing. People that got involved early, that work at it. It's not like, hey, you know what? You, you, you got early and you got pretty and you make money. People are putting forth efforts. We have thousands of people literally working through Christmas, working through New Year's Eve that are building their dream. And it's really amazing for me. I, I, you know, it's really amazing for me to see that people are literally, I think because this is this crazy narrative, this crazy lockdown or whatever that might be, people are hungry. People wanted to, to connect with one another. So this Christmas thing was the most, I think like a lot of the cellular carrier, like what is happening? Christmas Eve and New Year's, New Year's Eve, all this ding, 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 ding. It's working like around the clock. It's absolutely amazing. So some will, some won't. So what next? Okay. Now, I mean, look, there are some genuine inquiries. I want to know more before I engage. Yes, it'll be ready on February 20th. Now I'm looking for pioneers that are ready to get positioned. For those people who understand about timing and placement and positioning, it's now. And so it is very important. Now, understand something. Not everybody is like us. They're ready. And so you, you, the people, number one, the people, you play a major role in this because of your relationship, because of your trust. And hopefully all these years you build up good trust with your friends, okay? So because of the trust that they have with you, they go, you know what? I like you. I trust you. Whatever it is, I am going to get positioned for now, okay? So, but there are some that are just not ready. And it's okay. Thank you. Moving on next. Okay. So it is a sorting process. And I, I think long, long time ago, I, I heard about this story and I, I, I think it's very pertinent uh, to, to about the story about sorting and allow me to share with you. Uh, and I, I just, I, I was laughing. I just feel it's so funny and yet it's so true. Okay. So let's just say that you are a waiter or pretending that you are a waiter or waitress. Okay. And your job, you have a pot of coffee. Okay. Your job is to go through the table, go around the table and ask the, the customer coffee. They say, yeah, yeah or no. Yes or no. Coffee. No. Yeah. Coffee. No. Yes. Coffee. So you serve coffee. Now, what if you, you, your, your, your job is to sort is to serve coffee. Now, what if, if somebody go, no, I don't want coffee. What do you do? Will you go back to your waiter station and go, oh, no, I don't want coffee. If they don't want coffee, no, you just say next. 
So when you know that you have, you're excited about something, share the excitement. And by the way, right now, placement doesn't cost a penny. It's free to get placement right now. So, so I think a lot of times we just got to get over that fear uh, of asking. And when you have, just understand this, let's just say that you, we all have this intuition. We all have this intuitive within our heart intelligence. We all have this intuitive feel that there's something good here. I don't know what it is, but there's something good here. Okay. So when you found something good, would you be afraid to share it? A lot of times because people's misunderstanding of what it is, uh, maybe the terminology of direct selling, people are so afraid to talk to their friends. Let me share with you folks. If you care about your friends, you, you, if when you have and you believe you have the right opportunity, I will share with everyone I know because I want them to change their lives. Obviously, whether they do something or not, it's up to them. But as a friend, I will share. So when you have that kind of belief and conviction, that will beat any, that will beat any of the skill sets. It's not about skill sets or having the right script. It's about your passion. What is it you wanted to do? What is it that you seek here that you wanted to achieve? I am passionate about this because this is a legacy work. This is, it's no longer about money. I'm blessed to have money for the next generation. I, I just remove the money issue out of the way. I want to pull, I want to work to help create a co-create a platform that will allow, especially in time that we're living in right now, that will allow other entrepreneurs to come together and say, you know what? I want a home. I want to work. I want to change my life. That is why we're all doing this. A lot of the people that have made eight digit, nine digit in this industry are coming together. I mean, think about this. Right now, there's a talk in the industry. They're saying that we are, this opportunity are known as the three no's. A three no. No name, no product information, and no compensation plan yet, okay? So the three no. I'm telling you, you see that name all over it. It exists among all of us. February 20th, you will hear the name of the company. But anyway, so now think about this. Why is the three no creating such attraction in this industry? Think about it. Why? When there's no name to come in, why are all these people all coming together? I truly believe there is a greater force at work, greater than any one of us combined right here on this conference call and beyond. That is drawing all the good people in. I'm telling you, this space, at this point in my career, I only want to work with quality people. Life is too short to go otherwise. All right, so remember, some will, some won't. So what? Next, okay? Now, so then we talk about, as you work this business, there will be objections. So I'm going to go over some of the basic stuff here today. And I, by the way, I haven't done this basic stuff for a long, long time long time. Okay. So it's, it's really uh, amazing for me to come back in and, and doing this. And so what, what are some of the most common objections uh, that you will encounter now? So first thing first, you got to get over that fear of talking to people. When you found something that are precious, just share with people. The worst they could say to you is no. And some people may laugh at you or whatever. Do not, you know what? Don't worry about what people think of you because they think of you anyway, even if you don't ask them, okay? So just get it over. You do you. You got to be you and you do you. And that's how I get to where I'm here today. I never look at what someone's doing, what this is doing. I do me. I be me. So when you have that kind of virtue within yourself, you're going to excel. All right, so objections. Don't have time. I would say, well, let me ask this question. I know you don't have time. You know, we're all busy. We don't have time. But if you continue to do whatever you're doing right now, do you think your time freedom will change? Or if you're close to them, you'll say nicely and say, you know what? How long have you had that problem? No time. 
Or they would say, I have no money. I would say, well, I get it. But if you continue to do whatever you're doing right now, would anything change? I don't like to sell. I get it too. Here's the deal. You don't need to sell. The company will have videos. You just share. It's not about selling. You share. You either share the opportunity or you share the product. Okay. So when you share, it's up to that person to take a look at the information and make their own decision if this is for them. Okay. So trust me, guys, timing is everything. Right now, you will want to talk to everyone you know because it's happening. Okay. So now, so so these are the common what we call objections, right? So what is the best way to overcome uh, these objections? This is what we have, the formula. Ready? It's called three Fs. How you overcome it will be three Fs. First F stands for <laughs> feel. Second F stands for felt. Third F stands for found. So if people tell you, you know what? I hate sales. I don't like to sell. I would say, you know what? I know how you feel. First F, I know how you feel. Second F, I felt the same way too. When I first heard about this, I don't know. I don't know how to sell. I don't like to sell. I was an accountant by trade many years ago. But you know what I found out? Feel, felt, found. You know what I found out? That you don't need to sell. All you do is share. Company will have all the videos, will have all the tools that will help us to share this opportunity, that will help us to share the product line, okay? So feel, felt, found. I don't have money. Perfect story. This is, this is true 30 somewhat years ago, 30 years ago. You know, when people say, well, I don't have money. I'll say, you know what? I get it. I know how you feel. When I first was share about this, uh, this platform, this industry, I felt the same way. I got laid off. I was downsized. I had credit card debt. I didn't know what I was going to do. I had no money. So I, I know how you feel. I know what you're going through. But here's what I found out. I found out that if I had worked for someone in corporate America for 10 years, 10 years later with a college degree, working for somebody, and I was still broke, I knew that I had to make a change. Because if I don't change the next 20 years, I'll be end up in the same spot. And I refuse to be in the same spot. So feel, felt, found. Don't fight with them. Don't argue with them. So what do you mean? I helped you move. And you say no to me, I helped you. Nah. Feel, felt, found. If that don't work, some will, some won't. So what? Someone is waiting. Don't forget. Just, just manifest it down from the universe. Someone's waiting. Someone's always waiting. Look around you. Look around, look around people here in North America. Look around people in Asia. How many people you know in the traditional business realm? How many people you know in the job? In Australia, our friends, North, how many people you know that are tired of this narr narrative that they want change? Share this with them and they will thank you. Just like Samson. Many years ago, if we didn't share the if I didn't share the opportunity with Samson, to a friend, Samson wouldn't be where he is today. This platform completely changed Samson and many people on this call, okay? So remember, everything I'm sharing with you is giving you a framework of what it is. This platform is all about experiential learning. What do I mean by that? It's like learning how to ride a bicycle or learning how to swim. You cannot learn how to ride a bicycle by reading a manual or a book on how to ride a bicycle. Or you cannot learn how to swim by reading a manual. You got to get into the pool and swim, okay? So it's experiential. These kind of learning, it gives you guidance. It can get, get, get your brain, okay, you know what? I'm learning. I'm beginning to get new ideas. I'm beginning new possibilities. And then you got to do it, okay? So get over the fear. Get over the fear. Trust me, guys, the worst thing, don't worry about what they think of you. They will thank you. The worst thing they would think they, they would say to you is no. If they laugh at you, it's fine. I had many people laughed at me over the years. Do I care? No. 
because I get to laugh myself back then all the way to the bank. Now, nowadays, we don't need to go to the bank no more. It's all online, okay? So, so just understand this. This is a basic framework for you to understand. So now, what do we do? How do we go about doing this? I got to slow down because I talk so fast. We have uh, this, this, this call is being broadcast uh, simultaneously in another language. So I got to slow down so the computer can translate me properly. All right. So, so here are some of the things that we got to get in place as you are about to embark on this journey. Okay. Number one, this is a basic step. Number one, what is your dream? What is your goal? What do you hope to accomplish here? This is very important. This is more important than your know-how. Because when things get tough, your dreams, your goals, that's your why. That's what's going to keep you in your game. Because if you don't have a goal, you don't have a target, whenever you encounter encounters, most people will quit. Because they couldn't handle it. You know, the toughest thing you will ever do in this business is overcoming what's between your two ears. Um, that it has been like that for me. Uh, not only overcoming that, it, 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 the hardest work is because when people say no to you, oftentimes our ego got hurt. You know, the ego got hurt. Go, well, what do you mean they say no to me? I will share this with you. You know how you do how you deal with it? Ready? Get over it. Don't let it hurt you. Your dreams got to be bigger than other people's objections. I tell you, over the years, there were many people that ridiculed me. Many. I mean, now it's because, oh, Kim, you're so lucky. People coming to you and wanting you to sponsor them. I'm like, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You pay your dues. Pay, I pay my dues, okay? So anyway, your dreams, your goals, your why. Because that is going to help you stake in the game. I can tell you the last couple of months, it's been hard work. I just don't know how I did it. Every day, 16 to 18 hours a day, seven days a week. But I, I'm filled with joy. I'm happy because I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm putting together. This, this, this is, uh, thank you, God. This is, uh, all right, coming back to this. Okay, so one by one, your dream, your goal, your why. That is your why. Everything begins with your why. What is your why? Why do you want to do this? Because when you share this opportunity with other people, they didn't join because of the company. They didn't join because of the product. They joined because of you. Think about this. Nobody knows what the product is. They haven't even seen what it looks like. Company? They don't even know who owns the company. Why are they joining? People. I tell you, our hearts are the most powerful there is. Your heart, people resonate with you. So what is your why? Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Be bold. Tell people, what is it you want to achieve? Why do you want to do this? This is what sells. It is your passion. It's your belief. That's what sells. Not the company, not the product. Obviously, product got to be good for the opportunity to sustain. That's the platform's job. That's their job to make sure they have scientific board. They have scientific study. They have research. That's their gig. Our gig is to go out there and build a global infrastructure. That's what our gig is. Okay. So anyway, now, so the next thing you do, the second thing you do, is to have a contact list. A lot of times people will say, well, you know what? No worry. I got my contact list on the phone. My contact list is all there. Put it down. That's your business plan. Why? Because if you don't put it down on a piece of paper with your contact list, whenever you encounter challenges, when people say no to you, all that name list that's in your head or in your phone disappear. You stop calling. But if you have your goals written down, you have your dream written down, it could be, like I, I, we talked on one of the calls before, your, dream, your dreams could be, I don't know what turns you on, maybe 
a beautiful kitchen, maybe a beautiful bedroom, whatever. So whatever that is, that's your dream. And then you have your list. When people say no to you, you know what? No, 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 no. My dream is bigger than these no's. If they can, if they cannot help me achieve what I want, I ain't going to listen to all these objections. I'm going forward. I'm moving forward in life. So then you're going to continue on your list. So as you make your list, as you make your contact list, I would, I would identify the one that are positive, the one that are that, that wanted to achieve more. There are people that are content with whatever they have. Um, I would look for people that wanted, wanted something, wanted they needed something. Because oftentimes when they needed something, they might not want to go to work. But if they want to change, if they want a difference, I will share with them. So, so the, the, the contact list is very important because don't just rely on your phone. Trust me. If you rely on your phone when you get encountered objections, all the lists go out the door, okay? But when you have your business plan, your contact list, your list there, your prospect list, write it down. It's now this is very uh, this is very psychological and perception. It's a very different perception thing in our own psyche, okay? That is, it's not like, oh my God, who am I gonna get on my list? Who am I gonna get? No, it's who can I help? change your life. This is, it's a little shift in our mental perception. It's not who you get. A lot of times when you talk to some people, and this is a very famous talk in the industry, you will run into some prospect and they go, you know what? I am going to make you rich. I'm like, dude, make yourself rich first before you make me rich. Okay, so it's not about who you're going to get. It's who can I help? Who can I offer this opportunity to? Okay, so contact list. Then the approach. How would you go and approach people about this opportunity? Now, obviously, right now, what we have on our side is timing, timing, timing. Um, right now, there's a, your story of why you want to get involved. And there is a two-minute video, a teaser video. Just say, hey, you know what? Look at this video. If the messaging resonates with you, let's have a conversation. Okay? So, and then, so this is important. You can go wrong. There's nothing to talk about product. You can say the wrong thing about product. Uh, there's a six category. There's a slide to talk about six category. Um, and so do the teaser first. If it resonates with them, then send them a different videos that we have. We have a great call, a recorded call uh, by some of the leaders talk about the product line, you know, Mike McCormick and Linda, they talk about what the product line. So you can send them that video, uh, the recording. And so the approach is to keep it simple. Less is more. A lot of times when people approach their contact list, they have a tendency to like <laughs> fire hose people, okay? So don't fire hose people peak their interest, find out where they are. Hey, you know how, what's going on, on, on in your life? You know, how are things going along? Are you happy with your income? How are the kids? Whatever that might be. Are you looking for ways to increase your income? Do you want it, a change? Whatever that might be. Peak their interest. If the answer is yes, I want it more. I want it to change. I want something different. I'm tired of this narrative. You know what? Send them a two minute video, have them look at it. If it resonates with them, then you plug into the next one. Then pick up the phone. A lot of times these days, a lot of people like emails and text. Um, you know, when it comes to opportunity like this, it's about connection. I could tell you the last couple of months, I have done more Zooms. I have done more phone calls than I did the last three years. Uh, it's because the nature of this business is all about in person, about that connection, you know? So after you approach them, how do you, the key thing about this business, like I said earlier, it's about a few good people, not a whole bunch. So how do you build a global community or global distribution network? It's through something called a very key word, a very key word in this platform and very important word. It's called duplication. This business is not about you being a super salesperson to go out there and sell a whole lot of stuff. In this business, the person they're able to duplicate the best will succeed, okay? So how do you duplicate? Well, we're going to have an incredible speaker uh, on Monday. Uh, Karen and, and Colombo, 
the Salvador. They are going to be, they have 46 years of experience in this industry. So Monday night at 5 p.m., they can talk about duplication. So we have everything in place for you. You don't have to have experience. All your, if you're wise about this business, you get your team to plug in. Not just you plugging in, getting excited. Get the people that you enroll, get them to plug in, get them to learn. So that instead of you, one person getting excited, you have a whole team of people getting excited. And when you have a whole team of people getting excited, they're going to go out there and share the opportunity with other people. And that's how you explode your, you explode your group. So next on Monday, this coming Monday, Karen and Colombo will talk more about duplication. And it's about plugging into the system. Now, what is a system? A system is anything, any tools that promotes the platform, that promotes the business. It could be promoting the product. It could be promoting the opportunity. It could be promoting, you know, promoting your business. So, so get your team to plug in. Like we have weekly calls, but this coming Monday, we have another call. So these calls like this, 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 how we build it is, I call it, you build this business from events to events. What is an event? A call like this is an event. A recording can be an event, right? The Zoom nowadays with technology, you know, it's all, all there on the YouTube. So we do have a YouTube channel. You can go in, plug in. Uh, it's called Spark, I think. And so you just go Google and, and search. It. And so anyway, um, and click subscribe. And all those videos are available for you. So when after you peak the two minute, don't send them all video at one time. They will be like, they only want to take a sip of water. Don't go fire wholesome. They're going to drown, okay? So just do a step at a time. All right, so now, uh, so tools and system and event, you build from events to event. Right now, we have all these Monday calls. Once we're able to review the company we're re when, when we're ready on February 20th, they will, there will be multiple weekly calls, opportunity calls. So instead of you trying to explain to people what it is, all you have to do is invite your contacts to these live opportunity calls they plug in, they listen, they go, you know what? I like this. Or you can send them your website, let them look at the information. If they like it, look, send them the video. If they like it, they get involved. So that, that's how this whole thing works, okay? Now, so while you're doing that, keep filling your pipeline, okay? So as you go meet people, add them on the list. And sometimes, you know, as you go through your day, there might be a contact, go, you know what? Oh yeah, that person would be great at this. So add it to your contact list. Fill your, fill, fill your pipeline. It's like a, fun, a funnel, okay? So not everybody on your list will say yes, but it's okay. You don't need a whole lot. You need to feel good people. I could tell you over 90% of my wealth will build from the work that I've done the first six months. So all the people that I've sponsored the first six months are people that generated 90% of my wealth. And you know what's interesting is that it doesn't have to come from the first few people that you sponsor. You have no idea the first people that you sponsor, who they will lead you to. This is not, not about who you know, but who they lead you to. You know, there's a saying that says, every dud knows a stud or every dud knows a studet, you know? So, okay. Anyway, so now, and, and, and so I, I just hope that I have shared enough with you, a basic, basic information with you to understand the basic framework of what it is and how to do it. But tonight, there is something very special for people on this call and beyond. They're going to watch the recording. During the next couple of months, this is a time that you will never get it back. Between now and February 20th, we have four weeks before the company pre-launch, you have the opportunity to be at the very forefront of a project. And I couldn't think of a better story to share with you than a story I heard a long time ago about Mr. Artling Letter with Disney, with Walt Disney. This is in the 50s. You can actually, you guys can Google that story uh, yourself later on. Um, this is a story I heard a long time ago, so I, I might not have recorded exact, I mean, we remember the exact detail. Uh, I think it was in 1954 when Mr. Artling Letter was invited uh, by Walt Disney to take a drive to some dirt road in the middle of nowhere. 
and Mr. Walt Disney was saying, you know what, Art, I am going to build a beautiful amusement park with rides, you know, with Thunder Mountain, with, you know, whatever, all these rides in Disneyland. And he says, you know, Art, you have money. I suggest you buy up all the real estates around it. And Art looked at Walt. He always knew Walt was a very creative guy, more of an artist. And he says, well, what Art is talking, I mean, what, what Walt was talking about is building all these merry-go-around and all this stuff. Oh my God, he's going to go broke. So Art, Mr. Link, Art Link Letter didn't buy any real estate. And in one of Art's talk, he says, every step he took from the dirt road back to the car that he and he and Walt Disney drove to that dirt road. He goes, every step that it took him to walk back to the car a year later cost him millions of dollars because he didn't take up on the opportunity. What we have here tonight, folks, is a platform that are put together by incredible human souls, by incredible people, people with beautiful hearts. People have totally, completely servant leadership. That's why I'm here. That's why we're all working 16, 70 hours a day the last couple of months. So I hope that something in here in this talk resonates with you. I hope something in here inspire you to do something. My parents, my parents took us from Hong Kong to America 40 somewhat years ago. I lived here 40 somewhat years, most of my life. We started with nothing. I watched how my parents struggled financially. Didn't speak a language, had to work odd jobs. I watched how they work low paying jobs. Didn't even take a day off in the entire career working for somebody. I wanted to change. I wanted to change that lineage. I wanted more. My parents took us to America, land of the free, land of the brave. I want to do something. And so here you are. There I was. Didn't speak a language. I was 14 years old when I came here. Didn't speak a language, no money. And yet I'm blessed with this incredible country has given me, with this industry has given me. So I'm back. I'm here to work. I'm here to serve. So I hope that you found this recording helpful and go out there in this year. Turn your dreams into reality. With that, I'm signing off tonight and I hope to meet you all soon. Thank you very much. Make sure you plug in next week. Karen and Colombo, and uh, incredible human beings, they're going to be doing a training call on duplication and also an update from Mr. Mike McCormick. With that, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to go to uh, the Spark channel at Kim uh, at Spark Kim Hui. Thank you, Kim. Amazing training. <laughs> this is one for the record. Thank you so all much. Right. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Have a great day. Go share, 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 share. Go share. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Next. All right. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.